When a router has multiple WAN interfaces, by default, all client traffic types will only use the highest priority WAN interface. A traffic steering policy is one way to allow the router to use multiple interfaces by defining a policy to assign certain traffic types to a specific WAN interface or interfaces. This video will cover the procedures for creating WAN performance traffic steering rules. Be aware that traffic steering rules match client-generated traffic only. They cannot be used to steer router-generated traffic such as IPsec VPN traffic. WAN performance traffic steering rules allow you to design traffic flows that take advantage of the best performing WAN interface for the specified traffic. WAN performance identities are used by traffic steering rules as the basis for making decisions on when to switch between interfaces for best performance. Start by logging into the NetCloud web admin page, or you may go through NetCloud Manager and edit the configuration there. Click Identities and then WAN Performance. Select one of the existing identities in the Identities section, Real-Time Voice, Video, and File Transfer, or click Add to create a new identity. The value threshold and supplemental fields can be edited for all identities. The value field specifies the target value to compare against when evaluating each of the criteria. The threshold field sets the percentage of the value field that is reached before your traffic steering rules go into effect. The supplemental field allows you to specify the IP addresses or ports to use for looking up the actual values. We're going to proceed with the real-time voice. Note that when traffic moves to a new preferred WAN during the refresh interval specified in the refresh field, the sessions from the previous WAN remain on the previous WAN. However, sessions on software-defined WANs are moved to the new WAN. Click Save to save the WAN performance identity settings. Now that we have our identity set, we can move on to configuring a WAN performance traffic steering rule. Click Networking on the left. Click Routing, then Traffic Steering. Click Add here to open the Rule Editor. Once at the Initial Match tab, enter a title for the rule in the Name field. Enter the following information. DSCP is used when you need to select traffic based on the DSCP header in each IP packet. This field is sometimes set by latency-sensitive equipment such as voice over IP phones. DSCP negate means it will match on any packet that does not match the DSCP field. You may specify the protocol next, so there's a match on traffic with the specified protocol. Source IP network can typically be left blank or set to an address within or encompassing a LAN network. Source IP negate allows you to match on any packet that does not match the source IP network. Source interface matches on traffic originating from the source interface. Destination IP network matches on traffic with a specified destination. Typically, this can be left blank or set to an address on the internet. Destination IP negate matches on any packet that does not match the destination IP network. Destination ports can match on traffic with a specified port destination. This can only be used with TCP or UDP traffic. Typically, this can be left blank or set to match port-specific traffic. Port negation matches on any ports that are not in the specified port range. Click the Target tab next. Select Dynamic in the Steering Type area. Select an identity from the WAN Performance Identity drop-down menu in the Dynamic WAN Binding area. Set WAN Binding to Type Is and then select the desired WAN interface from the drop-down menu. Be aware that a traffic steering WAN Binding will match a different WAN profile than the one specified in the WAN Binding configuration if there are no interfaces in the specified WAN profile. Also, when using the Port, Type, or WAN Profile options for the WAN Binding field, custom strings cannot be used for the value. The last thing to note here is that direct internet access is checked by default. When enabled, direct internet access steers or balances matching traffic directly to the targeted WAN or WANs. Unchecking direct internet access steers or balances traffic over SD WANs. A WAN binding of type is SD WAN overrides direct internet access. Traffic is not sent directly to the internet. Click Save to save the rule and then OK. Traffic related to the chosen WAN performance identity is now going to be routed through the appropriate network interface. That's all it takes. Thank you again for watching and please remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.